Hello, everyone. We are back. So, I thought I'd just uh, fast travel here just so I wouldn't waste no time. So, uh, yeah, we have to see these ugly motherfuckers. So, let's get right to uh, these fuckers getting anything new, any presents. I don't know, I'm gonna fuck about any of these dudes. Everything's still stolen. Alrighty, here we go. Sky, guard you. Wind, guard you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Yes, for matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. If you wish to stand alone, so be it. If you wish for our help, you will answer my question. Ricky, shut up. So annoying. Where did you learn of a shout used to defeat Alduin? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. Have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. These guys are losers. I don't know who to trust anymore. I do like that girl who uh, showed me her little secret basement base.
These guys are the most slowest walkers on earth. Path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Minutes. Right. Like my haircut? Yeah. Bruh, Mama and Bruh had to do it because of my scabs. They're, they feel better now since they can breathe. So, uh, Revelations 3 is only exclusively for the Switch next year. Tracy? Yep, they got a release date next year. But Rebecca is a huge, huge rumor for them. Like, she hasn't been in the game since 2000, what, one or two, zero? Mm -hmm. You haven't played that one, have you? The train? I can't wait. Are you gonna come down and say bye, Mom? A little bit. In 15 minutes. guys.
What would be ugly fucking whatever the hell you have? Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my school? Well, don't start getting dumb, Pat. You're really mountain. getting away today. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Drem, patience. There are formalities which oh, must be observed away. at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Until introductions are complete, do not be afraid. Fasnu, let me feel the power of your thum. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, Sosedo Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I 
have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove. The dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Ruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Mm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Vaucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jor do not. 
It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are what? fragments of creation. The Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. Coming back and need to get some water. Intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maybe. I knew better. Teed Bo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Thank you, leave me alone, dude. Tid Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Jeez, this is getting really boring. Krosis. No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. This cat is pissing me off, dude. You are likely <laughs> better off than I am. Stop. Go and lay down. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Dude. Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, drain your look. Greetings. Look through. That was like the biggest, most boring conversation in this game ever. Okay, I gotta do something real quick, guys.
wonder if they're still here. Yeah. But yeah, uh, apparently I just got some news as I went down to just get some water. Uh, I guess I'm going to be studying at an MAT for my GD, or my diploma, I mean, if that's... I'm an idiot. <laughs> Isn't GD and diploma the same thing? I don't think so. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, MAT, that's what I'm doing to study. Standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world. Were the Greybeards any help? Did they know anything about the shout used against Alduin? An Elder Scroll? That's not going to be easy to come by. Esbern's your man for that kind of thing. He may be able to at least point you in the right direction. The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the Blades. Someday. <laughs> Thanks. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War? I've heard this before, bitch. Anything the about Alduin? You'll have to speak up. I'm a little... Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. Then it came again. This time more distinct. Close. Definitely not like our All right. No, I'm on her side instead of the gray beard because I wanted to bring up to her saying. Because I think they brought up something about them uh, betraying or something. I don't remember. They brought up something. They said something about them never ever doing something when, when it came to something with the gray. I'm confused. I don't remember. They brought up to me though, the blades didn't do something saying no trust them or whatever. I don't remember. They're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort. Don't oh, be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. Hey guys, the my data's is acting a great deal of asshole. On White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you What do you need? Wait. You think I need to send Bolgroth? How do I get to the backyard or whatever? 
If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Kevin. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest. It's gotta be like a back way out of here. There's always a back way. Everything all right? I'm just trying to make my way, bitch. This is a bedroom. Who the, who the hell would want their bed in the middle of the room? Staying safe, I hope? Come on, there's a back way out, isn't there? I want to just go around the whole castle. You should unload some of that unwanted gear. Head over to Sardry's used wares. To the Fuck you, dude. This is my gear. I can do whatever I want with that. And let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price. Hey, because they just gotta go around the People whole freaking castle. No lollygagging. Oh, wait. This is the way I have to go. I'm so stupid. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Another friend letter? Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Another letter. Alrighty. Piece of land, hmm? Can have a little bit of property. Can't believe I read that letter as fast as he's about to leave. <laughs> oh wait a minute, I think I'm an idiot just telling me to go to the door, I think. It's not telling me for my direction or whatever. So I gotta go around the whole castle. What do you need? Be careful. Move, bitch. Otter. Ow, fucking dick. Ah! 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 Hey, try to catch me up here, you fat fuck.
take a big fucking shortcut here. I don't know, this whole fucking mountain. The fuck was that little thing I ran past? I almost been a bunny. Big ass shortcut. I think I'm hanging for that big area right there. Stick with my little shortcut here. So a while back, like a real while back, I got a message saying, "Play Death Stranding." I actually played that game for myself. I hated it. I didn't pack that many levels. I thought the game was way too fucking difficult. It's very fucking weird. But uh, yeah, not my type of game. I didn't care for it. It was a little too. It was a little too complicated for me. I just gave it to my brother. I kept getting stuck at parts. I didn't get past too many missions. So I just gave it up. Like, I'm surprised I'm still playing Skyrim. Like, I'm surprised uh, I haven't given up or whatever. Like, being horrible at the game, you know? Discovered a new plus. Well, friend. You know, I'm tapping the screen on my phone and it doesn't work when I'm pushing X. Okay, there we go. 21 minutes left. Shit on you, ice wolf. Oh, fuck. Pretty fucking awesome. Let's be okay, because say let's discover this place. at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Hmm. 
Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. No! Shivers! So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, Apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Oh, I got in. No matter what, the college will endure. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest at the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. a bit peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed? Why did everyone keep saying I look sick? I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Ah, uh, some other time, perhaps. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. 
An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait. Are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them. But it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the First Era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. Until next time. Wait. Where's he going? Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Aye, ah, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but, well, that was years ago. Uh, haven't heard from him since. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. I believe I've made myself rather clear. 
You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalma received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope um, you appreciate the opportunity. Weirdo. Very good. Then with... Wait, where am I? So I'm not far from there. So I just gotta go like over here. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot, dude. What's even down there? I if I'm right. <laughs> it looks like water. alive and this isn't even like three feet of water I would have broke my whole fucking body I'm all I'm alive people I'm alive I made it did you guys see that I made it <laughs> how fucked up how did I make that How the heck am I supposed to get up here? Or am I supposed to go around it? What the hell? in there. <sighs> Here we are. This little wooden building. The Fortress of Solitude. What the hell? Who's that guy? Dig, dwemer in the beyond. Hang <laughs> on your lost unknown and rise to your depth. Is this your building? That must be. When the top Elder Scrolls, indeed, the Empire. This guy looks like a they fucking loser. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mundus, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological oh, scale, well, it's all nearby. Brutish one. <laughs> Septimus has no fear of you, but as one block raises another, perhaps ourselves could help us each. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. 
In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mazark. Of hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. That's fucking weird. Just gonna fast travel back here so I don't need to keep swimming. Alright, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. But yes, until next time, see you in the next one, everybody.